this is a quick little idea that I have that I'm going to take videos when I think of it and I might have to like, you know, put them all together, but the quick little reviews while I think about it, giving my opinions, this Aviant, I don't know how to pronounce it, Pro Collagen, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. I like what it does, I guess, on my skin good enough, but it does not need to be in this kind of tube. It is so liquidy that my normal putting it into my hand and then turning this up to use my hand, I don't want to just lay this somewhere because it would spill all out. So you got to put your the lid back on. And this is so runny every time, every time it has slooped out of my hands and down onto either my leg or my desk or my makeup table, whatever, because it's so runny. And you don't want to not put the lid on because I'm sure it would just run out of the tube too. And it's almost like the top part is kind of rough. So putting this on doesn't always go smoothly. And see how you kind of had to grab it to put it on? Well, if the stuff is already in your hand and then you're grabbing this to put it on, it's just super awkward. Bad packaging. Um, if this was a pump dispenser and then you just sat it down and you used it, it would be totally fine. But this tube is a stupid, stupid idea. That's my opinion on this <laughs> Aviant Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. My next random small review is going to be on this Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. I like how this smells actually a lot and I do like how it feels. However, I've started noticing that every night that I use it at some point before I fall asleep, I'm grabbing a tissue and my eyes are starting to burn and sting. I think I'm going to try it the next time using a lot less of this product, but I think it migrates up into my eyes and starts stinging them. So while I like the product, I'm going to say be careful not to use too much or let it get close to your eyes. I mean, you know, that should be a given with all products, <laughs> but I don't notice that with other, other products on the norm. There's been, you know, a few, but all right, just again, trying to to say what I'm feeling while I'm thinking about it. Review on this Grace and Stella Say Hi to Hydration Hyaluronic Acid. I like the way that it feels. It has such a powerful pump. When you squirt it out into your hand, it almost bounces out of your hand. So that part's a little bit awkward. But it feels nice. And for me, I think it makes a nice base that I've been putting the Earth Harbor Marina brightening ampule, like a drop or two into it before I put it on because this stuff at first I just hated it because it makes everything that you put on before it or after it pill up. It's got such a weird like oily consistency. Nothing else is going to layer with it. If you use how much you would use if you were just putting it on your plain skin, but if you put one or two drops into a different serum or lotion, I don't feel like I have that problem as much with it. So this is definitely nothing that I'm going to re-get after it's gone, um, but I'm gonna, you know, continue to one little drop at a time, use it. Do you remember the August Bader, the rich cream that we got in the Allure that's like a $250 product or something that I, said that I was just going to use it like on one little wrinkle to see if it actually helped the improvement of plumping or anything because for $250 I could really just get Botox um and well anyway so I've just been using it here on this wrinkle it um I see zero improvement um I will give it credit because this little bitty thing it's been like two months that I've been using it and it still has some in there you just needed a teeny little bit and then you know I was just putting it here because again I figured it would be like five uses if I put it on my whole face and what was that going to tell me? Um, anyway, again, I don't know, thought I'd get right up in there so you can see 
still definitely there. So anyway, it'd been well over a year since I've gotten Botox. Just with the move, I hadn't found anybody new to do it, but I scheduled an appointment for that. So, um, my little wrinkle. We'll check back in a few weeks after the Botox. I'll see if it was, if it costs less than the rich cream does and see if it works better. All right. I just watched that video back and I felt like that lighting, you couldn't even really see it very good at all anyway. So I've tried to come out into some different lighting. Um, we're going to try to find, find where you can actually see it best. Because I feel like closer to the window blurs out my skin apparently and makes it look better. Is it darker lighting that you notice it in? Do I need to bend down? Kind of there. Yeah, well, you know, shadows are doing weird things. Okay, now I'll have to watch this video back. I mean, you can definitely tell when I squeeze it. Okay. Just thought I'd show off my Tony Moly acne patch here that I put on. They're the ones that are red heart shaped, although I've got it in like this, you know, creasy fold thing, so it doesn't look like a cute little red heart, but again, not leaving the house, so it doesn't really matter, even though I'm putting it on the internet. <laughs> this Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Natural Glowing Skin Balancing Water Face Mist. I thought at first that I really was going to like this. It had a nice even spray and um, I definitely felt like it tanned me up. But I ended up deciding that I didn't like the color it gave my face. It was a little too orange and then the spray kind of stopped spraying good. Um, I don't know if I can really show you. Maybe if I do it here on my chest, like, I don't, yeah, you can't see it, but it's just going um, out. Um, and it, you know, isn't empty enough, I feel like, to be doing that. What I'm trying to say is this left me too orange on my face. I felt like it actually kind of brought out my hyperpigmentated spots. Maybe any self-tanner on my face would do that. Usually I don't use self-tanners on my face. This one I thought that I was going to be able to because it was such a nice fine mist, but ended up not liking it. So that could be just a personal thing. And then the um, spray thing must get kind of clogged. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try out these tanning drops. It said four to 12 drops per body part. I'm just going to put it on my legs. Maybe I should just put it on one leg to see if I can tell the difference. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how to count the drops up. It kind of just came out in a big squirt. And then I did get my little tanning cloth because you know, who knows? Does one leg look darker already anyway? Is that just the lighting? I don't know. I'm going to go wash my hands because I definitely don't want them orange. And then this product by Ulta Beauty, it's called Bright Eye. I think it's probably supposed to be a lot like the Tula one. That is just like a stick that goes underneath your eyes. I have never noticed that it made my eyes look any brighter. But what it does do is if you get it too close to your eyes, there's actually like a stinging effect. Like it's almost menthol feeling. And then your eyes start running profusely and watering and makes it so that you're unable to go on with putting the rest of your makeup on. And yet I haven't thrown it away yet because I'm really cheap and I hate to waste a product.
your head out there. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Acoustics are lovely in here. Since I showed you the self-tanner that I didn't really think did much, I thought I would show you the ones that I actually do use and like. So this one by Fake Bake. I've had this one, which is a spray on, that's called Flawless Darker Self-Tan Liquid. Um, I like this and a different one from the same brand I had before this that wasn't the spray on, but I liked it equally as well. Um, this, let's see, um, you can spray it like right on your leg or you can spray it in your cloth and then like you almost get immediate results. Um, and it comes with a little mitt so you're able to, you know, see, you know, rub it in good so that it doesn't get all streaky and weird. Then... If you like one more that's way more gradual, that um, you also don't really have to worry about it getting streaky because it doesn't go on like super heavy or whatever. You know, you're not going to really notice until you kind of layer it a few times. Um, and it's a foam. I still, I use my mitt from the fake big thing, but you know, I didn't know exactly how to go about. I think it worked out better showing you the in the other room but okay and then for a third option that I really like is this it is not really a self tanner it is more like a makeup for your body so you do have to be careful that you don't put on like clothes immediately after like it's got to kind of sit on your legs um, and really I pretty much only use it on my legs when I'm going to be you know, out in a skirt or something like that. Um, but I'm going to show it to you on my arm, I guess. Um, well, okay. Comes out like this. Feeling almost like the lighting isn't correct enough to be good in here to show you. But, um, it has then just a little like you can almost see it more on my hand like a little bronze shimmer to it um and i think it looks nice but again if i would go put on you know a white shirt now this would definitely come off on it but it did i don't remember how long it said but it says wait five minutes before getting dressed to allow product to dry so anyway that is that I'm gonna watch. so that's the end of this video um, let me know if you feel like these little pop-up reviews while I'm thinking about it are more valuable to you than if I go through my empties because I kind of remember exactly what I want to say about things more. Um, or if you didn't like this because of how choppy the video ended up being. Okay, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Bye!